I'm not scared to make mistakes and learn through the process. I just want to say you deserve all the accolades. You deserve a round of applause. You deserve pampering. You deserve to be spoiled. Okay. Because for adventure, something comes up, I'm going to take it a step at a time and you should. My name is Golibe Uwebe and you're welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and if this is your first time being here, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. It is good vibes and good vibes only. Feel free to scroll through my channel, watch a video or two, like, drop a cute comment for your girl. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. In this video, I'm basically going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I'll be creating this look and also be talking to you guys about my struggle as a content creator. Without too much chit chat, let's get right into this video. It feels so good to be back guys. I've been away for too long way too long and i've missed doing this so i'm this. going straight into my skin prep and for skin prep i'm making it very simple i'm just doing moisturizer primer and um, liquid highlighter and that's it because i'm trying to make this video as short and as brief as possible so i'm starting off with cleaning my face guys it's almost that time of the month and so Appearing. They are trying to appear, but then I changed my diet. Actually, I upgraded my diet, and so my breakout has reduced. I'm not breaking out as much as I used to before, which is a really good thing. Now that my face is clean, I'm going straight into moisturizer. So while I do that, let's chat. So the last time I created content was, I think, on the 28th of. September of August 28th of August right I think so the last time I posted anything on my page was on the 3rd of September I think 3rd early September very early September and that was like the last content that was um, a part of the content that I had already created in the month of August so I'm certain that the last time I created content for YouTube and Instagram was in August. I'm moisturizing my face right now with the hydrating moisturizer. As I was saying, in the month of September, I had so many plans. I had content plans. I had numerous plan I had everything written in my notes on my phone and also on my planner my um my regular planner that's always hanging on my wall it's a vision board but then I hang my planners there as well you guys for days I would stare at my vanity and like tell myself will you be you're supposed to be creating content but I just couldn't bring myself to doing anything there were days that I would actually set up, right? I'd bring out all my lights, my the makeup products that I was planning on using, you know, my chair. I'd really set up, everything would be organized, but then I wouldn't be able to do anything. I've never been in that phase before, or I don't remember if I've ever been in a phase that was as intense as it, as it was, because I had inspiration, I had content planned, I wanted to create I mean I was already setting up the fact that I was setting up showed that I actually wanted to create but I just couldn't bring myself to sit down and do anything for one whole month so to prime my face I'm going in with the Haggai and Esther skin filter primer it's a silicone primer and it is very very suitable for people with oily skin it's a really good product it really controls shine so if you're the kind of person that you always have shine on your forehead on your chin on your nose or your t-zone area basically 
this product is really really good i remember the last time i used it i went for a beach outing then i wore makeup and my makeup didn't move you only shifted at the areas where i wore my face mask like the areas where my face mask touched my skin so around here and under here they were just face mask lines but aside that my makeup didn't shift and the sun was blazing hot that day so this product is is it it is good i'm just applying it on my t-zone area basically because that's where i have the most shine even though i'm not an I'm, I'm a combination skin person but i love dewy looks and dewy looks really sit right with me i my skin doesn't really need too much priming i don't know if you understand a good primer regular primer and a good setting spray would do the would do it for me really and my makeup would last so i'm grateful for that so quickly i'm just going to use a liquid highlighter on my face before i go to foundation so as i was saying this period this phase of, of not creating was very different for me because i know that i have days where i'm not motivated to create or days where i have a um creative block where i i probably don't know what to create or i'm just experiencing lots of ideas you know or basically days where I just feel too tired to create due to work work stress and maybe life stress I'm a human being so yeah I can have that too I can experience that whenever I'm, I'm in phases like that I mean I understand it because there's a reason behind not creating right but this time there was just no reason behind not creating and to be honest up till now i do not understand the phase that i was in because i wanted to create so bad but i just could not and i don't know how to explain it when people ask me oh Golibi, what's wrong i'm like i just can't bring myself to creating and they're like oh is this stress from work or are you tired or are you overwhelmed i'm like none of that i just cannot bring myself to create like i literally cannot sit down and create the thought of it stresses me so it was a very different phase and then it was different because i'm sure most of you already know that i'm a perfectionist and when things are not going as planned i get very fidgety i get very mentally and emotionally stressed and i worry so much about it although i'm getting better at it this year because i'm training myself to take everything a step at a time you know slow and steady and to breathe so um it was just this year that i started getting gradually moving out of that phase anyway that's how the normal golibe is right or should be but this time i wasn't forcing myself to do anything i was very active on my stories so i already let everyone know what i was going through that i was okay but i just couldn't bring myself to create in fact there were some times where i would intentionally not open my instagram app my youtube app in fact I lost track of normally I have like this monthly thing monthly drill where I post on all my social media apps or all the social media apps that I, I can't remember <laughs> where I rem remind people you know to subscribe to my channel I post my link send my link to people to send to people to subscribe to my channel I wasn't doing any of that and I was okay I think I just told myself that going to be look you can't defeat this and the more you try to defeat it the more stressed you become the more disappointed you become so I feel like what I was doing was I was very open about it on my story and I let people know that this is I mean this is it so I'd go on walks you know I was doing not mini vlogs but yeah very very active on my story telling people that oh i feel very um my mind is very clogged today so i'm going to go for a walk to clear my headspace you know doing most of that and so i feel like because of how open i was people understood that this is a phase 
there were also people who would be like, Olibe, you're not consistent. Olibe, why are you not creating content? Olibe, this girl. In fact, when I, every time I went to work for a week, every time I went to work, I would always tell my colleagues that when I get home, I'm going to rest for one hour. I'm going to set up for about 30 minutes and then I'll create content. And then the next day I'll come to work and I'll be like, do you guys know that I didn't create content? It was, it was already, I mean, it happened for two weeks consistently i would literally tell them at work and i always used to tell them at work because they always encouraged me so when i get home some of them would call me one of my colleagues would call me and say well don't forget you're creating content today you know but no matter how many times they called me to remind me i just wasn't able to bring myself to creating content and so after it happened for a week plus I just said you know what I'm not going to force this thing I'm just going to leave it so I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm creating content I'm not going to force myself to create content if I get home and I feel like I'm up to it I would create content but I'm not going to make a fuss about it and I'm not going to make people push me to create to create because it was already obvious that that was not working out for me so I just decided to just leave everything and just leave right just leave if the vibe was going to come I'll jump on it if the vibe wasn't there I would relax you know and yeah that's how it was for me last month so the next thing I'll be using is my Haggai and Esther foundation in butter and mango this is one of my favorite Nigerian foundation brand of all time Hagar and Esther is actually one of my favorite Nigerian brands. But this foundation, love it. So I like to concentrate, I call it concentrate, I like to concentrate foundation on this area of my face and just leave it there to sit because that's where I have. Um, hyperpigmentation so I, if I leave it there to sit for a while it gives it a little bit of coverage of extra coverage and I try to avoid my under eye as much as possible but well foundation has already got in there but it's best to avoid packing products on your under eye so as to avoid creasing because concealer is still going to go there so yeah as I was saying so this period of my inconsistency or my I don't want to call it inconsistency my my the phase where I was what should I call it indisposed I wasn't indisposed the phase where I was struggling my struggle phase basically or let me just say last month last month right when I wasn't creating content something happened and I don't know there's no other way to describe it than God's divine touch because tell me how a video went from 3,000 or was it 4,000 views to 1.1 million views in the space of two to three weeks and I wasn't even con I wasn't even creating content I wasn't posting anything on that page that page was basically dormant and my video moved from 3,000 views to 1.1 million views it's still surreal it is surreal I feel like that was just a way, a way of God telling me just rest you know just rest I got, I got you I got you um although September was um, a very spiritual period for me because I fasted most of September from 1st to 21st of September I was fasting and a lot happened a lot happened God did a miracle with my page I moved from 8,000 followers to 10,000 followers in 
that period where I wasn't consistent. And my video moved from 3,000 plus views to 1.1 million views. I, I, do, I still can't believe that I'm saying million. A million people, a million plus people viewed my. My face is perfectly blended right now, but I look like a joker <laughs> because of the foundation. I'm going to go straight to highlight and contour, highlighting and contouring, and I'm using the Hega and Esther concealers in the shades um, Mama gave me, Girl Next Door, and Fierce. I'm using the shade Girl Next Door and Mama gave me to highlight although Girl Next Door is a bit lighter so I'll be using more of that and then I'm using the shade Fierce to contour and I'm going to be adding Mama gave Girl Next Door to um, the inner corner because it's lighter and so I like to top it up with a lighter shade just the inner corner with a lighter shade and so I'm going to contour with fierce the shade fierce oh this is really pigmented Hagar and Esther products are very pigmented super pigmented that's one thing I love about the brand the brand is amazing amazing i've worked with them for some time and i'm hooked you would see me using their products in almost all my videos if not all i'd use at least one or two products i like to highlight first because i like my concealer to sit properly because i want more coverage so yeah my video hit 1 million views I'm very grateful for that because to be honest the period where I wasn't creating content I know that I was telling myself that I'm not going to be bothered about how many followers I lose that I would <laughs> have gained them back by God's grace I know that I was still going to be bothered if I was losing followers or if I ended up losing followers because I mean it would bother me but I wouldn't kill myself about it but by the special grace of God, God said, Golibe, have you forgotten who I am? And I'm like, no, daddy, you haven't. <laughs> so basically, you contour places that you want to appear smaller and you highlight places that you want to be more visible. So now it's time to blend my under eyes. You guys, when you're doing makeup, don't be scared to make these funny faces. I always blend into my nose as well, the remnants of the highlights into my nose, as well as above my eyelid. I'm definitely going to do a highlight and contour video because it's one of the most requested videos and you know i'm here to serve you guys so can you guys see how that settled very well um i can choose to go in a little bit with some of the light with um the lighter shade that's girl next door at the inner corner because it just pops my face more I like to do that right I let it sit for just let's say 10 seconds and blend I'm going to blend that off camera and come back here set my face and continue chit-chatting okay so I'm back and I already 
sets and lightly baked this part of my eye this part of my under eye as you can see I feel like the most technical part of my makeup has to be my under eye process so from my concealer to setting to baking I take so much time and I'm very precise because my under eye is my problem area first it's extremely sensitive so sometimes it gets darker sometimes it gets red and then again um, when it gets dark and when it gets red it's quite hard to conceal it's quite hard to yeah it's quite hard to conceal and so I take my time and it took me quite some time to learn this process I'm just going to be briefly explaining everything that I do so first I set my under eye with a pressed powder and a brush a pressed powder and a flat brush and then I go into setting my under eye with a yellow setting powder and for that I use the Hega and Esther setting powder in the shade tinge I think this is the lighter shade they have or there might be a shade lighter than this it's either this or there's a shade lighter than this actually I think this is the lighter shade but then I'm going to check they have a number of setting powders and they sent me this shade tinge so I like to use a yellow setting powder as my base because it blends very well with my skin and then it gives a very seamless finish just like I've used a powder and then I now top it up with a white setting powder to basically just highlight and make my under eye pop more as you can see can you tell the difference here I just set with a pressed powder that's my shade I just set with a pressed powder then I'm going to set with this setting powder from Heather and Esther I'm going to show you how I set so because I said I'm going to do a detailed tutorial on highlight and contour I'm going to make this very brief so like I said I already set my under eyes with a pressed powder but I'm just going to um, go in with the remnants from my brush I'm just blending opposite directions so I could get into all the creases because your under eye naturally creases then I'm going in with the yellow shade of highlight of setting powder and I'm just dabbing it gently and I'm taking a very small quantity I'm taking a very small quantity my beauty blender needs to be changed I'm taking a very small quantity and I'm dabbing it at the back of my palm to take off some excess that is very important and then I'm going to be pressing it gently and gradually So I'm just going in gently and consistently and trying to blend the setting powder to give it a seamless finish. And I'm also blending it into my nose as well. And over my eyelid. And also above my brows because I like to set my brows before I draw my brows one very key part of makeup is blending you have to blend really well because you don't want to see harsh lines when you take pictures or when you go out under the Sun you know don't be scared to blend I want to say there's nothing like over blending but there's actually something like over blending but just blend it until it's sitting perfectly on your skin so yeah I think we're done so as you can see I blended it into my skin and can you tell the difference this part has more 
it's more it's brighter basically and it's popping more and i feel like it lifted my eyes more and it makes me look more awake as opposed to this side this side doesn't look so bad when you're not trying to do too much this is perfect the way you're trying to do it no makeup makeup look this is beautiful or a very soft everyday glam this is it but when you're trying to go glam you want everyone to you know see your face you want your eyes to pop you want your eyes to look more awake more open this this is beautiful but basically this is what i do for my face because my eyes like i said my under eyes are my problem areas so i have to top it up a notch just going in with a lighter with a white setting powder and i'm dabbing the remnant the excess off on my at the back of my palm like i did before and i'm just repeating the same step but this time i'm going to concentrate it at the inner corner of my eyes so first i blend it into my skin and then i go ahead to dab some setting powder just to bake a little not too much so i'm just going to lightly redo this part And I'm going to dab the excess on my forehead and my chin. Just the excess at the back of my palm and my eyebrows as well because I like to set my eyebrows. It really, really, really helps when I'm drawing. So that's it, guys. And I'm just going to. I'm just going in with my yellow shade of my highlighter of my why do I keep saying highlighter of my setting powder the Heather and Esther setting powder to highlight to set the highlight on my nose so you have to set everywhere that you're concealing if you watched my brow tutorial you would know why we do this but I'm not going into details because I'm saving the best for the actual tutorial. This is too much. You guys don't do this much. Next, I'm going to contour with this powder, this Hagar and Esther powder in HW36. I don't make my contour too dark. I just make it um dark enough for my skin but not too dark and this has more of like a bronzer feel because I think it has it looks reddish right so I'm basically contouring everywhere that I applied the dark shade of concealer this powder also has a fragrance so if you react to fragrance um, I don't think this is for you either. to set my whole face with this Hagar and Esther powder in HC23 I'm going to do my brows and my eyeshadow off camera and I'll come back and finish my gist I don't know if I did well with this chit chat get ready with me so I'm sure it's going to be very all over the place but please bear with me this is a learning process for me because um, I'm, I'm still very new no actually I'm not very new to YouTube but I'm still very new to some things and so I'm not scared to make mistakes and learn through the process so see you guys when I'm done with my brows and my eyeshadow the next thing I'm going to do right now is to highlight my highlight my cheekbones and I'm going in with this palette this flash pan highlighter palette from Hagar and Esther this palette is the real OG as you can see that's why I love 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 this palette mm. 
you guys see what I'm saying? Um, if you're a content creator, I just want to say you deserve all the accolades. You deserve a round of applause. You deserve pampering. You deserve to be spoiled because this job is not an easy job, to be honest. And if you're one person that from the time you started creating content till now, you've, you've still kept going, I just want to say thumbs up even if you've had breaks here and there it doesn't matter so long as you've kept going and if you know a content creator please tell them how special they are today because <laughs> it's not easy i haven't created content in more than a month and today that i'm creating content i've spent like almost five to six hours not creating i spent about two hours getting ready i had to have my bath i had to lay my hair i had to set up i had to test my lighting even though i'm not really sure about how the lighting is looking right now i think i need to master my lighting for my youtube setup because i haven't really mastered that yet so i had to get my lighting ready and then i sat down and started doing my makeup around 8 p.m. now it is almost 11 o'clock it's almost 11 o'clock after this I'm just going to take pictures wash my face and go to sleep as you can see I think you guys can see I'm already tired I'm not sure how this video is going to turn I really hope it looks nice because maybe because I'm just tired that's why I'm not feeling it anyway we're done with almost everything the last thing is my lips first i'm going to line my lips with this brown 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 pencil want to say a big thank you to all of you that have been writing with me thank you for 10k followers on instagram it has been a very packed month it has been filled with you know growth success progress and also this month as well thank you so much for being here thank you so much like i wish i could legit gift everyone i always say that but i'm doing the most that i can and I'm definitely, I definitely have something planned for my 10,000 followers. A giveaway, I don't know whether to call it a giveaway or just, I plan on gifting a number of people and I know that I've already reached out to a couple of them. I don't know if by the time I release this video, I'll have already done the giveaway or celebrated what I want to celebrate or, you know, but I'm definitely going to do something. And so I just want to say a big thank you to all of you for sticking with me cheers to more wins cheers to be more consistent and for adventure something comes up i'm going to take it a step at a time and you should too don't beat don't beat yourself up too much don't beat yourself up too much take it a step at a time if you ever if as a creator you ever feel like you're stuck or you're um, losing motivation losing inspiration talk to a fellow creator that does what you do you know open up tell him or her tell them how you feel and I'm very sure they'll be able to help you and remember don't beat yourself up even if you're going to lose followers you're still going to gain those followers back as long as you're doing what you're doing and you're doing it well you're doing it right and I just hope that everybody is able to is able to find peace yeah, I've talked to a motivational speaker, but I feel like I'm just very grateful this period and everything that I've been doing from this period is just being thankful to people, being thankful, being thankful to God for bringing me this far. It's been a journey, but I'm grateful. I'm 
grateful that I'm here. I'm grateful that I'm here. I'm grateful for all of you for sticking with me. Hopefully by the time I release this video, I would have gotten to 600 subscribers, if possible 700, because the goal is to reach 1000 before the year ends. Mm. Anything is possible with God, so yeah. Thank you so much for sticking with me. See you next time. Bye.